Gia Martello, choreographer and star and dance moms, and we're at Georgetown Cupcake, which you love, right? I love it here. Did you ever think that you were gonna end up on a TV show? I actually grew up dancing for Abby. My mom was a dance mom, but she wasn't like crazy. Yeah. You know, like if I won, she was happy. If I didn't win, I was like, oh, okay, well, that's good. That's cool, yeah. <laughs> I feel like I really know Abby inside and out. So if the girls like get frustrated with like her coaching, I survived. Yeah. I, I came out on the other end okay, so yeah. you're good. Which of the dancers would you say that you're the closest with today? I've definitely uh, worked with Nia the longest. Oh, I love Nia. Nia and I have been, have been uh, on the show since day one. You guys are OGs. Yeah, we <laughs> are. We're the only OGs. two of us standing. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about Maddie Ziegler because her career is oh, soaring and I know you've worked really her. closely with her. You can dance and you can do step, step, step. But when she does it, it's like a Grammy performance. She gives everything she has to every performance. Baby, I advice for the girls who are navigating fame at a much younger age than you are? It's their talent and it's something that they like, it's something that they're good at. You know, some people become famous for who knows what. Yeah. And these girls are famous because of like their passion for dance, so yeah. I think that's great for them. Fast forward five years, what could you see okay. everyone doing? Hopefully still be dancing. Yeah. But like, I can see them in movies, I can see them like doing commercials. Nia's definitely going to be on Broadway. Mm. <laughs> so good. They're well, Nia will probably be a model. <laughs> What are the positives and negatives you'd say of being on a reality show? The negatives are definitely like, I'll, I'll watch the show and I'll be like, that never happened. Or like, I did that, I said that. And I'm like, I said it, but maybe not like right there. Regardless of like the drama on the show, I think Dance Moms has gotten so many more children dancing, mm -hmm. you know, and just aware of the arts. What do you think makes the girls such a, uh, on the show such a strong group to compete against? But I feel like our tight-knit group is just is just like a family. They just kind of feed off of each other, and I think that's what makes them, you know, such a cohesive group on stage. Do you get to pick out the songs that you guys choreograph? Sometimes. Yes. Yeah. I go to um, a creative meeting every week, and the producers like will pitch us like the who's dancing for that week, what they're supposed to dance to. They're coming from a TV standpoint, where mm -hmm. I'm coming from a dance competition standpoint, and that's way different. Mm -hmm. So for us to try and like get together is really really difficult, but. I mean, it's been like six years now, so we're, we're getting there. Yeah. <laughs> so let's play a rapid fire game called Before It Melts. No. Okay. Because <laughs> we're in the dessert shop. Ice cream or Froyo? Ice cream. Cake or pie? Cake. Cookies or brownies? Cookies. Sweetest thing someone's ever done for you? I don't know, I always get flowers all the time from my boyfriend. Aww. Like just, you know, like, what, like whenever flowers. Favorite food? Sushi. A secret talent? I could probably eat a lot of cupcakes. <laughs> <laughs> um, thing you most look forward to when you wake up in the morning? Going back to sleep. Oh, yes. Vacation or staycation? Uh, vacation. Place you most want to travel to? Italy. Show you most recently binge watched? Chopped. Oh. <laughs> it was yesterday, that's why I said that. <laughs> and your most used emoji? Uh, probably the red heart. Or the eye roll. <laughs> Yay, well thank you so much for hanging with Hollywire. Let's eat some cupcakes. Oh my gosh, yes please. <laughs>